Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 22nd, 2022. This is my 70th episode for C++17 2023 CUDA SQL OpenGL OpenGL TBB. This is also first episode for OpenGL MFC integration. In this episode, we will create multiple different document types in MFC MDI project. From my YouTube channel, if you scroll down, you can find C++17 2023 CUDA SQL OpenGL this playlist. From this playlist, I assume you have watched my previous video listed here, especially episode 67 up to 69. If you haven't watched these videos, you may have difficulties following my current and future sessions because we will pick up from our previous episode, episode 69. Click more. By the time you watch this video, you can find download current video source code. In this section, I will put download link. This is source code from our previous episode, episode 69. If you click it, you can download the source code. By the time you watch this video, I will change this video's status to members only. Then you can click this link. I will put a link in its place. This is placeholder. Now, Show in folder, unzip it, rename, episode 070. Copy the folder path, copy, paste it in your working directory. In this folder, double click this solution. Press Ctrl F5. It should build and run successfully, like this. Now close it. From Solution Explorer, expand code, then header file, open resource.h. From this header file, you can find IDR code type. Here, copy, paste. It is sin type. This number should be 131. Then it is 132. So we change it, our code like this. 130, 131. For sin type. Now save it. You should close this file. Save all in the resource view. If you do not have resource view open, for example, if it is closed, then go to view, select resource view, then this tab will open. Click source. Then you will have such resource tree. Now back in Solution Explorer, resource files. Select code RC with right click. Please understand that I right clicked. Then view code. The document is already open. Do you want to close it? Click yes. From here, control F, code type in current document. Then you can find this line of code. Copy, paste. Change it to sin. 
fix your code like this. It should be sin top. We find next. From here, scroll down. I will go slowly up to 290. Copy. Then make some room. Paste. Don't worry about the format of this part of code. Don't worry. If the need arises, we can also edit this part. Find next. Find next. Find next. Here. Copy. Paste. We will edit scene type. It can be scene. Copy the text scene. Paste. Fix your code like this. Also like this. Click Find Next. This is the beginning of the file. 73. We can find several times. OK. Click OK. Now close this. Save. Please save the file. Now close it. Click this button, code RC, then click again. It will be resolved like this. Now, in the Solution Explorer once again, you can right click, view code, click yes. If you scroll down, you can find Sorry, sorry. We have to fix this part. It should be sin. I made mistake. Now save. Close it. I made mistake. Now menu. You should find ideal scene type. It should open like this. Close all. I made a mistake. Right click. View code. Yes. Now control F. Scene type. Find the next. Find the next. Find the next. OK. Save all. Close it. Then menu. Scene type. Here we will modify this part. In the edit, we don't need it. So we will delete now save close it save all in the explorer again right click view code yes control f scene type if you find this menu is laid out Properly. Okay, this part is now corrected. The format of this menu is now corrected. Close it, close it, close it. Now it should be resolved properly.
in the menu again in the main frame here file select file right click insert new it can be new code hit enter then select new code again property pin it down you can find file new we will change it to zero then here create a new code document hit enter now save right click insert new new scene hit enter so this new scene we will change it to one create a new scene document now save all we can drag it down we change it the order we can also drag it up now save all close it in the solution explorer again we can close it we will open file resource.h double click it yes if you scroll down you can find this part of code so we can remove this code and uh, it should be 3 because 72 73 we don't need this then we can put file new end we are leaving some space here it can be for example 79 then we have to fix one number greater than this number for example 80 okay one number greater than this number we modified like this now save save all close it it should be resolved like this now in the solution explorer sorry in the class view expand code select code app I will explain about these things in future sessions. Select init instance this function. Please double click it. Control home. We need to include copy this paste. Here it should be scene frame copy code doc override so scene frame scene doc scene view now save all double click init instance this function again scroll down scroll down at this part here 
make some loom I will make a block then copy these copy paste here IDR sin type it should be sin top sin print sin view you should pick select this also I will pick our code like this now I can disable it now press ctrl F5 it should run like this so this is code document click OK this is editor window now click new code document this is another code document now new sin click ok then this is sin this document will be 3d sin space in this menu i will add new buttons also remove new frame this button now close it no no save all we need to do some editing with graphic files let's close solution then close visual studio i would highly recommend you to purchase a copy of xlis icon workshop if you purchase one copy of this software you can use it lifetime long xlis icon software workshop they provide updates lifetime long once you purchase a licensed copy of this software they provide your updates lifetime long from code res we need to edit file large bitmap i will drag and drop here so i opened file large bitmap select this then we insert new image you can drag like this we will insert another one i will make very simple image copy ctrl c i pressed ctrl a ctrl c here ctrl g paste as scale one to one in the editor area click ok click here then select this button i want to make it bigger i will select like this copy paste select the first option okay then you can make it look bigger like this also copy this copy paste okay save ctrl a copy select this paste now here click this button make it 16 code cd click ok this is blue color no it's too big 
delete I will make it 14 like this this is code here click this button S C click OK this is a sin it looks like this save all now close it we will edit file small like this file small make it bigger select this add move it and from this file control A paste it here I will select this button then copy paste ok we make it bigger then select this this is code editor this is s so you can create you can create your icon using your artist skill now save it so you have to remember the image index this is 11 this is 12 save all now close it we can open from our solution please double click it we can close it from resource code resource we use ribbon double click it now double click it double click this button we don't need this okay we don't need this so we delete then we add this button we select id file new channel click prompt then prompt will be auto field this is new Code. then this is small image this image is a small image small image index is 11 large image index is 9 okay we add another this is id file new one click this prompt then this is a small image 12 large image 10 we don't need id file id file new we don't need it delete then close save now close it in the solution explorer now save all press ctrl f5 now click ok click this button you should see cd sc these are menus click exit select resource again then code resource double click it ribbon double click it double click this big button this is zero this is one I should change it new scene 
close it. Then click this button. Double click it. I will remove. Then ID file new zero add. Select this. Move up. Then ID file one. Select this. Move up. Click OK. Save all. We can close it. Now, Ctrl F5 once again. Click OK. We should see this new fixed correctly. We will use Registry Editor, HKey Current User, Software, Scroll down. We can delete code. Click yes. Then we start once again. In the solution, we will rebuild the solution. Then control F5. Click OK. Now we can see quick access bar. These are not yet enabled because we haven't implemented event handler. In my next episode, we will create event handler. Now exit. Please don't miss my next video. My next video is really, really important.